You want to make sure that you set all of your links in your course open to an external window. Now the reason for this is something called mixed content. What that means is that when you have a web page that's on HTTPS and it goes to an HTTP site, it's going to block it. This is specifically using Chrome or Firefox. With Internet Explorer, it'll give you a little warning that you can show all content. So let me show you what I mean. To get to the content, you would click on the content drop down, click content. And I'm going to try to find a link here. Let me go up to the table of contents here. So this icon happens to be a link. In other words, this is a link to an external web page that is uh, found. So if I click on this, <clears throat> one of the things you're going to see is that this is just going to spin. And that's because there's this shield up here. And if I'm on Chrome, the shield's over here. If I'm on Firefox, the shield is over here. So what we want to try to do is prevent that from happening. And to do that, we would want to open these windows um, in an external window, or these links in an external window. So how do you do that? Well, you know, you think you have to go through each one individually, but there's a, something called a bulk edit that's really kind of nice. So for example, I'm going to go into this module, this Unit 1 module here. And when I go into the Unit 1 module, it will show me all of the uh, sub-modules that are in there. And this is Lesson 1, Lesson 2, and Lesson 3. And so all I need to do is click on this Bulk Edit. I'm going to go ahead and click on Bulk Edit. And it will come up in a second. There it comes. And then what I have to do is just scroll through and go ahead and close that. That's going to close. And find anything that has this icon, which is a link. And there's going to be an open an external resource. So I click on that. And I just go down the list like that, and it will save it automatically. There's another one. There's another one. And again, just going down the list here. Here's another one. Here's another one. And that takes care of all of the links in this particular module. Unit 1. So now if I click on Done Editing, and I go down to one of the links, now that it opens an external window, you'll notice that what happens is it opens in its own tab, and it will open without any problems. I go ahead and close that. It'll take me back into here, and this is what it'll take for the student. It'll show for you and for the student. So that's how you do it. It's a pretty simple process. You just have to go through each unit and make sure that they open up in their external window using the bulk edit process.